In this video, we're going to continue with Winget and this time the command uninstall. I have to say it's not my favorite one if it was working, but sometimes it's not silent. And if you can't use it silently, then it's no good for scripting. So if you just want to use it to uninstall software, uh, that's fine. Sometimes it's even fail, but um, it's rare that it works uh, silent. Well, I'm going to uninstall a lot of software, so we'll see how it goes. I could be wrong. Maybe all's going to work or not. Let's see. Let's get started. Let's open a terminal. can be anything like a CMD or a PowerShell. And we want to start it as an administrator. So I shift right click here to get this menu, run as administrator, because we're going to uninstall a lot of software. Let me just clear up here, go to the root, CLS. Let's maximize this one. And let's do our friend the winget um, list. Why not? So we see what software we have here to uninstall. Um, well, it's not only going to be those who have a winget here. So we can start from the beginning. Let's uninstall git. So I'm going to steal uh, this ID here. Not that hard to remember. So we can start by I'm clearing screen. Let's do a winget uninstall. So it looks pretty much like the install command, right? And we have some alias. So you can put winget remove or rm instead of uninstall. I like the uninstall. For install, you have add. So remove, yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty much the same uh, parameters as we have went through when we were in the install video. So basically, you say which ID or name. I prefer ID, it's more unique. And you can even add the flag dash E for exact. And when you uninstall, you probably want to be sure that you uninstall the right uh, um, software. You can specify which version if there are multiple versions. But if you only have one, there is no need for that. And if you want to install uninstall all, you do all. So, and you can run it uh, silent. And here is where I have some critic. Very often, in my experience, is that it's not silent. You still have. And if it's not silent, well, as I mentioned, you can't script it. The others, I don't use so much. Of course, you, if you script it, you must have this one here. If not, you can risk that uh, the script's going to ask for something. So I think we can go... Um, go ahead here and uh, start to run one so we win get and we're gonna uninstall git that i have on this machine so if you look here i have a uh, git here installed we don't want that anymore so uninstall or we could have put the remove or rm which are alias we want to be exact and the id i have saved it was not that difficult to remember git dot git it's case sensitive when you do dash uh, e and we could do it silent, but let's go with um, uh, non-silent. Let's see if this one actually uninstall or if I have to click next, next. So we run this. That's fine. If it was silent, this would be gone. Oh, so it's actually worked. One, one uh, good so far. Let's in uninstall more. And this time we can add uh, silent, for example. Um, I'll just do a git, uh, not a git. I'll do a win get. Uh, let's do a list. Should be shorter list now. I'll scroll up to the top because again we want it to be Winget. Mozilla Firefox. Let's take that one and see if that one works silent. Probably everything's going to work now. And Winget. We do again uninstall. Well, we can do remove this time. It's the same. Uh, the exact ID and the ID is uh, Mozilla Firefox. And let's do silent this time. Let's see if it works. So, well, you see it's not silent for this one, but it's, if I, even if I didn't do silent here, we will get the same one. So here is one of these where it just doesn't work. Um, well, there's no fun. I mean, we can, you can uninstall it, but if you were using a script, so we can Uninstall uh, next one. We'll see what the next one will be by doing a win get list. I should copy a bigger list so I don't have to go back here all the time. Uh, let's do Zoom. We know works from previous videos. Uh, 
Let's do a VLC. Probably not going to work either. And we do a CLS and we do a winget uninstall or we can do remove. Remove dash e dash dash id uh, VLC. Let's do it silent. Let's see if this one goes away or if it also get. No, we also get this one. <laughs> it even says successfully uninstalled. No, no, no. It's definitely not uninstalled. So what they have in common um, uh, VLC and Mozilla is how they are packaged. I think the, if it's an MSI, it's going to work. Well, I happen to know the, um, the Zoom one. So if we do winget remove dash E dash dash ID capital Z zoom dot zoom. So I have the Zoom client on this one. Zoom workspaces, uh, workplace, sorry. If we do this silent, and let's add our friend here, uh, accept source agreement. If it's already accepted the source agreement, it does nothing. If you haven't, then you need it. I have two spaces here. Let's see if it's accepted for some reason. Oh, there I can go in. I'll remove one. Probably work with the two spaces. So now we should uninstall Zoom silently. So this would work in the script. And Zoom is usually used by MSI. So installation. So yeah, that worked. We'll, we'll continue. The video is going to be pretty much this. Uh, just to show that yeah, the uninstall one isn't that good. So Mozilla Firefox, no good. VLC, no good either. Notepad++, plus plus, I would guess that one wouldn't work either. Google Chrome, probably works. Edge, you can't uninstall. Uh, probably Oracle Java Runtime would work as well because it is installed by an MSI, if I remember. So we do winget. We can do rm this time. It's an alias. It should be uninstall. And dash id. And that's the id. We can do it silent or not silent. We do it silent again. Who guess this one works? I could be wrong. Yeah, so that one works too. So it works for some. I wouldn't rely only on this i would really do testing for each one if it works perfect you can use it and if not there are other ways to uninstall right you can uh, find the uh, uninstallations in the registry i didn't plan to go here but let's go here uh, that's not where i wanted to go so hk local machine software uh, depending if it's 34 bit or 64 bit we'll go uh, microsoft right and then it is Windows. Scroll scroll far here. Uh, Windows is here. Then it should be current version. And then we have uh, the, the uninstall at the bottom, right? U for uninstall. Yep. So here we have all the software showing up here. So for example, Mozilla Firefox we have here. Here is the uninstall string. So this one usually need a capital S and that's the problem. So if I just run this one, it's going to start the uninstaller, hopefully. Oh, since I'm in um, PowerShell, let me do the, um, uh, this sign here to start it. Yeah, so it's going to uninst uninstall. But if we wanted it silent, I think it's a capital S. Now it's running. So the problem when we did the win get remove dash e dash id and then um, Mozilla Firefox, it was running this command without the uh, capital S who do it silent. So now I would guess if I do win get list, I don't have any Mozilla Firefox anymore. Nope. There is none. And if we did VLC, it's probably the same. Uh, here we have the VLC media player. It should have an uninstall string as well. Yeah. It's probably the same capital S. I'm going to add a forward slash S here. I haven't tested this. I'm interested myself. And let's see if Winget go and read this information. So I'm going to clear the screen. Let's do winget. Now I do uninstall dash e 
dash dash id i think it's v video land oh capital land dot vlc let's see if it works now or if it's still gonna pop up Ooh, it did and then maybe this uh, key is gone now let's see if we re refresh yeah it's gone okay so, uh, so good i nearly got to learn something myself so the the win get uninstall isn't better than the uninstall command that the software give here so if this one isn't totally silent oh here you see you have the quiet uninstall string so with this which actually have the capital s so let's try notepad plus plus then win get uninstall dash e dash dash id repetition is good right um i'm pretty sure this one is note pad plus plus dot notepad plus plus but i could be wrong uninstall okay since it found one uh, silent it probably run this uh, quiet uninstall uh, string so that one actually works nice and it's gone from the registry okay that was a bit extra of course any excuse to make the videos longer i think we are good here i mean we could continue to um, uninstall um, all night long uh, uninstall uh, what else could be interesting? Oh, I misspelled. Winget uninstall. Uninstall. That should be better. Yes. Uh, we tested remove rm id. You could uninstall on name, but I think id is the best. You can even do product code. That would be for an MSI installation. Different version. It's very rare your multiple version of exact the same. Um, I don't silent we did we did exact scope I mean if you have slack for example who could install for user and machine maybe you just want to uninstall the user one do I have slack on this one I'm not sure I have slack for winget um, can do a winget list ID slack something oh do have it i wonder well it's going to be a new thing for me again if we do a winget uninstall and we do uh, exact dash dash id and then we do uh, scope let's uninstall only the user part so user part resides under uh, the user and I'm logged in as John Brent. And then this is a hidden folder. If we do app data local, there should be a Slack here, I guess. There is not a Slack here. I'm uh, pretty sure. Uh, let me see if I search for the Slack app. Oh, it's maybe. Well, see. No, it's an app. Oh, interesting. It's not the normal installation. Ah, let's. I don't think this is going to work, but we can try. Uh, it, it is uninstalling, even though we put the scope to user, but I'm, I'm unsure that's actually a good thing. Let's see if we still have the ID Slack. No, we don't have. Hmm. But I, I, I doubt there was a scope user. It probably just ignored that and did a normal uninstall. But uninstall Slack works, works also. That's basically it. So, yes. Uh, the uninstall is not better than uh, what you find in the uninstall string here. All those who have this strange GUID, that's the MSI GUID. And those always works because uh, uh, normally it should be a slash X, but I'm pretty sure uh, whatever this is, uh, oh, it's a ODBC driver, Fresco. Um, Winget usually do MSI pretty good. I'm more afraid for... Do I have anything left that I haven't uninstalled? No, I think we could uninstall pretty much when we manually modify. But yeah, th th these with the uh, MSI GUID, Python software, they usually go very well to uninstall with uh, Winget. But again, Winget uninstall, not my favorite one. It doesn't work so often as you would hope. So definitely test it for your software.
Thank you very much for following along this far. In the next video, we're going to see how we can use Winget to download files. See you there. Thank you very much.